Round one is upon us between two of the best fighters in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a glaring weakness on either side when you break down the front. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well-rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? And he landed the right hand there. Wow! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's gotta press him. He's gotta go chase that finish down now. Oh, he's looking to set up that head kick. No good. Oh! Big call from punch land. Now he gets back to range. All right, single collar tie now. Left hand punches the clinch. Big left hook coming. It's blocked. Oh, strong hook to the head there by Bolton. Awesome. Looking to set up that head kick again. This one does not find the home. Just misses with the left hook. Oh, big punch land. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Just out of range with that left hook. Just over three minutes to go. Trying to establish that jab once again. Dig and kick. Let's go, you can do this. Midway through round one. Oh, nice timely trip there to get the takedown. Right inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out, or guys start to attack triangles. All right, try to pass here, as Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Oh, nice left hook there from Volkanovski. Volkanovski is such a phenomenal fighter. I believe his confidence is what truly carries him to be so spectacular, to be so successful. He believes with every part of himself that he is the absolute best fighter in the world. And both guys really throwing with authority. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Under two minutes now to go in round one. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Alexander Volkanovsky. Oh, man, look at that picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. Unable to connect there. Defense there, huge block for him. Oh, that was a really nice takedown. Big elbow. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to hold him. him. Yep, absolutely. Go. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. That's a good strike right there. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Seconds. Big knee there. Left hook, right hand. Outs 
standing back and forth first round. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Volkanovski gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Circling to his right. And they separate. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Nice punch here. 36 total strikes and counting have landed for Zabit Magomed Sharipa. Connection rate starting to dip a little bit here, DC, landing with 32% accuracy now against Alexander the Great Volkanovsky. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh, nice elbow. All right, so he finally gets the takedown here. He kept on trying, stayed committed. He told us before the fight, at some point, I'm gonna be able to take him down, and that's exactly the way it played out. Oh, nice job landing the knee there. He's got a lot of size for this division and put it to good use there. Nice punch lands over the top. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Volkanovski going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. Great timing on that beautiful takedown. Well, his wrestling has been a great equalizer thus far in his UFC career and gets the single leg takedown. And you know that it's his shot. It All right, we'll see if he can lock in on the choke. And he's out. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Big punch from the clinch. Oh, doubling up now, tripling up on that knee. And now he's secured back position. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Ooh, big knee. somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. The official decision is inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 26 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner 